Okay, here is some self-care treatment that you can do for shin splints or pain down the um, anterior part or the anterior tib area, the front part of the shin, also known as medial compartment syndrome. Um, what we wanna do is relieve the tissue tightness and trigger points that can cause pressure along the shin bone or the tibia. Um, too much pressure creates shearing on the bone and can lead to um, stress fracture, stress reactions, and just chronic pain from strain along that bone. So take a lacrosse ball, tennis ball, um, you can and work in kind of sections along here. You can use a yoga block or you can just do it on the floor, but you're gonna apply the pressure along that front of that shin. And then you're just gonna move the ankle forward and back. So maybe you find a trigger point, you stay here for 10, 20 seconds, move, same thing. And you're just gonna work along the bone, but not directly on the bone. The other thing you can do is take some Voodoo Floss or some Rogue Fitness makes these bands, um, Rock um, Blades also makes these bands. You can find them online on Amazon, but what you do is you wrap and you wrap with some compression and now you can take that skin because remember we're creating that fascial shear when we create impact or load especially when we overstride or we're taking too many steps per minute when we're running so we want to release that tension so you wrap it and then you can take a grab a hold of that shin and that fascia and just kind of mobilize side to side you can also get into a stretch position and mobilize inside and mobilize outside. So you're trying to get more ankle range of motion, but also create that tension release. If you want to get really um, intricate, you could actually put this lacrosse ball inside when you're wrapping and then you're creating extra pressure and you can do the same thing I did initially. So it's just a couple different ways for some self-care treatment for shin splints, medial um, stress compartment syndrome, or sometimes what leads to stress fracture.